think in one of your books, uh, which is uh, titled In Defense of Hindus, one of the most marvelous people on this planet ever, uh, many, scholar, many scholars have also stated that Hindu civilization ranks at the greatest in terms of its contribution to this planet and to the society. Uh, what, according to you, is that uh, that makes Hindus so special and, and different than uh, other communities? So you're talking about the tolerance of Hindus? Mm -hmm. And their contribution, uh, because you did... I mean, I think one of your books was titled that Hindus are one of the most marvelous uh, people on this planet. Um, so what is it about their contribution and their uh, characteristics or personality that makes them special? So, so it's two different things. I'll first uh, touch upon tolerance. Now, Hindu tolerance is a weakness, I think. Uh, I mean, you can be tolerant if you're strong. But when you are weak, and we have seen politically that in terms of the uh, the conflict with China, uh, uh, that uh, there is a weakness in the Indian psyche, is that it wants to, you know, we've seen that Mr. Modi twice invited the Chinese president, you know, and invited him in a very grand way, once in Ahmedabad, you know, and once in Mahabharipuram in the south, and, you know, in a beautiful Hindu manner, you know, that welcome, you know, I welcome you with open arms, I show you the greatest of my country, you know, I spare no, no expense for you, but in return, he was stabbed in the back. In return, he was stabbed in the back. So I think this is the wrong kind of tolerance. It's the wrong kind of tolerance. The true Hindu tolerance is to accept the diversity of man, you know, that I, as a Westerner, as a white man, as a born Catholic, uh, I come to India, you know, and I start reporting in India with my cameras and my notebooks and, you know, and, and I am accepted that people accept me, even if I'm ignorant, and even if I come from a different religion, a different ethnicity, they accept me. This is a true tolerance. But the tolerance of accepting to be beaten up, to be, to be humiliated, is a wrong time of tolerance, I'm sorry. And for that, we need to fall two people. One is the Buddha, not the Buddha himself, but what his disciples did of Buddhism. The absolute creed of nonviolence, which exposed, you know, Buddhism to be entirely wiped out of India you know, by the by the uh, Arab in, invaders, and to Mahatma Gandhi, who also made, you know, out of nonviolence an absolute theorem, and to the point that he told the Jews that, you know, you let yourself be killed by Hitler. You know, he told the uh, the Ethiopian, you let yourself be run over by Mussolini. This is wrong. It's not the spirit, the message of the Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita says that you fight when you, your country is in danger, your culture is in danger, your women in danger, and you fight physically, knowing you know that the, only the body perishes, the soul is eternal. So this is the true message of nonviolence, mm -hmm. but it has been forgotten in India. So the Hindu tolerance is a myth, and I think I would not praise Hindus for that. I think it's a weakness. And today we see again and again, you know, that Hindus are slapped, they're made fun of, they're killed, and still they're tolerant. I think Hindus need to fight. Today, they need to fight for the culture. They need to fight for their children, for their wives. They need to stand up even physically if need be. The second thing, what Hindus contribute to the world, of course, I mean, I said it before, they contributed Hatha Yoga, meditation, Pranayama, Ayurveda. It's been disconnected in the West. In the West, people practice Hatha Yoga, not knowing that it's a gift from Hinduism, mm -hmm. because it's been disconnected even by gurus. The gurus who went to America, particularly in America, for the purpose of reaching out to you know, Christians and white people, you know, they, they try to universalize that knowledge, disconnect it from the Hindu group, from, from its Hindu roots, which I think is wrong. I have told, you know, Amrita and I've told Shishiva Shankar also, that I think it's wrong. It's a Hindu knowledge. It's a gift of Hinduism to the world. Hatha Yoga, meditation, pranayama, Ayurveda. So these are the real gift to the world of Hinduism. Mm -hmm. But tolerance, as, you, as you've heard, I disagree that Hindus are tolerant. I think they, they become weak and uh, they need to stand up and fight. Namaste. We hope you enjoyed this Chitti Media content. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, 
प्लीज विजिट सी आई टी टी आई डॉट नेट धन्यवाद नमस्कार